Welcome back to Small Cap Nation. I'm Julia Sun in Times Square in New York. We made it today. The market is in the green. And joining me after market is Mr. Andrew Schneider. He is the chief executive officer and founder of Family Office Networks. Welcome. Thank you, Julia. How are you? Doing great. What are you up to and what is Family Office Networks? Great question. Mm -hmm. Family Office Networks, we are the largest network uh, for family offices. Uh, family offices are very wealthy families that have an infrastructure in their own that handles outside investments as well as other things such as philanthropy to estate planning and we work with domestic family offices as well as global. Mm -hmm. Normally, you know, when we talk about investment, there's the regular good old pension mutual funds and there's the hedge funds, the private equities, there are even funds of funds, but family offices don't get so much attention. Um, in your mind, what makes these offices special? Well, it's, it's a great question. Um, the reason family offices don't get much coverage is because it's, it's such a fragmented industry. Mm -hmm. Maybe five or 10 years ago, mm -hmm. most people didn't even know how to contact a family office. Mm -hmm. That's why when I launched familyofficenetworks.com, it's become now the largest family office community in the world. Mm -hmm. About 15,000 or so family offices and the reason they join or come to our network is they want to meet with other family offices to share ideas, to mm -hmm. co-invest, to talk about other meaningful things, mm -hmm. again, such as philanthropy or, or different wealth management mm -hmm. strategies. Mm -hmm. What kind of people can contact you? We're typically contacted by other family offices that are looking to get involved in our network. Mm -hmm they're looking again to meet with other families in their area or in other uh, parts of the country or the world mm -hmm. and um, we're also contacted by all the asset management firms all the hedge funds private equity real estate right now raising money for alternative investments mm -hmm. it's been a very challenging time mm -hmm. so family offices are the ones that are allocating mm -hmm. and really the most sought after investor type out there. Mm -hmm. As I like to say, it's kind of the highest end of the food chain. You have the average investor, then the high net worth, and then the family office. Mm -hmm. After that, it goes into institutions, mm -hmm. and that's a completely different mm -hmm. sales cycle. Mm -hmm. And the last group are service providers. As this industry has been growing, so has the servicing, such as accountants, law firms, uh, estate planners, different wealth management firms, and we're seeing a tremendous growth. Some of the largest accounting firms are now starting multifamily offices. We're seeing law firms roll out family office divisions. We're seeing insurance companies roll out family office practices. I've never seen anything like this where literally the industry has exploded in, in a great way and we're at the right time at the mm -hmm. right place. So what additional resources can you and ultimately these other family offices give me? The type of resources uh, would come from just personal networking, meeting with the patriarchs or the matriarchs mm -hmm. um, of these family offices, hearing about what they're doing, which may interest you, mm -hmm. or maybe sharing what you're doing to them, which may open up other doors. Mm -hmm. And we find that families have a hard time finding other families. Mm -hmm. So we've created a network that allows family offices to meet with other family offices. We do very high-end events all over the country and all over the world mm -hmm. where we have family offices and other groups come. We network with the family mm -hmm. offices, build relationships with them, mm -hmm. and then as we build a good rapport with them, we'll start introducing different products and services based on what their investment objectives mm -hmm. and goals mm -hmm. are. My understanding is a lot of these family offices, you know, wealthy families, they're very low key. They're hard to find. <laughs> so how did you get your connection? What was your way in? Um, <laughs> I've been doing this for almost 20 years, mm -hmm. so I do have a lot of pre-existing relationships. Um, what we found as we started launching family office networks, 
families started reaching out to us mm -hmm. versus us going out to them because they wanted access to good deal flow, access to, again, different investment professionals and, and other insightful information that can help their families preserve their wealth. Mm -hmm. In your network, where are these family offices located? Well, predominantly, family offices are in the U.S. and Europe. Mm -hmm. what, uh, what we're seeing, and I'm seeing, is a tremendous growth in, in two areas. One is Eastern Europe and, and Russia, mm -hmm. because as the Cold War ended, the first wealth, we'll say, the first generation, has average age now is about 50 years old. So that money is now going to be ready to be passed on to that second generation. Mm -hmm. So you know we are seeing a tremendous growth of infrastructure there. Now in Asia, one third of all ultra high net worth or family offices are located in Asia. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing a huge, huge growth in Asia. We are opening up offices in China, Singapore, Hong Kong, uh, Taiwan, uh, Korea and mm -hmm. um, Tokyo. Uh, to <laughs> <laughs> or is to it not hot anymore? Tokyo is yeah. on our list. Yeah. Okay. What we're also seeing, if I could add, mm -hmm. we're seeing family offices rolling out their own investment products, and this is what we're seeing the most of. Mm -hmm. Investment products for, from family offices. For example, we worked with a group, the the Bartolo family office. They own the 49ers and they built the first outdoor shopping mall. Mm -hmm. They were looking to launch a real estate fund. If you're in, interested in investing in real estate, mm -hmm. that would potentially be a good group to invest with because they made their money in the real estate space. Mm -hmm. Same with the Dixon family office. They're based out of Detroit. They made their money uh, with the commodity industry. They're members of the CBOE and mm -hmm. they've been doing it for 60, 70 years. Mm -hmm. So now they have launched products that specialize in commodities and futures for outside investors. Mm -hmm. And you, know, you, you can look at this in almost you know, any type of industry. In, for example, family offices in Dallas or Houston. If you want to invest in the oil and gas space, you That's certainly want to, yes, yeah. you, you want to deal with uh, families that made their money mm -hmm. in the they oil. They know the area, they know the space, they, they know have the contacts. players, they know the risks, mm -hmm. and, and certainly they can hopefully generate the returns. Mm -hmm. What we do is mm -hmm. we introduce family offices to other families mm -hmm. so that they can share ideas, mm -hmm. that they can co invest. Mm -hmm. Typically speaking, the family offices are concerned with wealth preservation. Yes. And because they want to be able to pass that money down to their children, to their grandchildren. And that's why family offices are so important, because there's been a, a strong correlation of families passing their business down to generation to generation mm -hmm. and a big failure rate. So mm -hmm. they, family offices bring in professionals to help run their underlying businesses. Mm -hmm. You said you've been doing this for what, 20, about 20 years? About 20 years, yeah. yes. Um, how did you stick to this industry for this long? I mean, it sounds very exciting, but tell, mm -hmm. tell me more. Sure, my, my background, mm -hmm. um, I came out of Morgan Stanley. Mm -hmm. I founded a company called Hedgeco, mm -hmm. or Hedgeco.net. I created the largest hedge fund website database in the world. Mm -hmm. At the peak, we had about 7,000 hedge funds that were listed on our site and we had 30,000 accredited or qualified investors that were members of the site. Mm -hmm. And we would introduce the investors to different hedge fund products. Mm -hmm. We're headquartered in mm -hmm. West Palm Beach, uh -huh. Florida. Mm -hmm. We have offices in New York, mm -hmm. Boston, Connecticut, mm -hmm. San Diego, mm -hmm. Miami, Naples, mm -hmm. and we're gonna be opening another four to six offices, hopefully by year end. Mm -hmm. So tell our viewers, what is the best way to reach you? The best way to reach us would be uh, to visit one of our websites, um, familyofficenetworks.com would be the best, or uh, 
we have different what we call associations. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Palm Beach Family Office Association, which, which I'm the managing director of. Mm -hmm. That's a, a very good way to, to meet someone mm -hmm. like me. And you say your office periodically hosts high-end events? Yes. Mm -hmm. We have associations that are spread out mm -hmm. throughout the country and out the world. Mm -hmm. Each association, we do very high-end events for family offices, so we are able to build relationships with them and find out what their interests are, what they're looking for. Mm -hmm. And based on that, we're able to go back and introduce them to different products and services that meet, again, their investment objectives and goals. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, Andrew. That was Andrew Schneider, CEO and founder of Family Office Networks. I'm Julia Sun in Times Square in New York, and thank you for watching Small Cap Nation.